Today is quite a historic event. Um, it is an evening of reflection and celebration as we mark this very important milestone, the 10th year anniversary of the establishment of both the Mayor's Office on African Affairs and the Commission on African Affairs. My name is Mamadou Samba and I accept your nomination for President of the UNA... Oh, this is not a convention? Not a convention? I got the wrong speech here. I don't know what's going on here. I got the wrong. Hold on one second. Thank you and welcome to the 10th anniversary celebration of the Mayor's Office on African Affairs. In years, the Mayor's Office on African Affairs has evolved to achieve unprecedented relevance and increase the visibility of the African community, not just in DC, but in the metropolitan area and throughout the nation. We celebrate African uh, uh, Heritage Month, but we also celebrate a decade of service to the African community. Uh, Ten years of tireless work and advocacy, outreach, capacity building, uh, to improving the quality of life of African immigrants in the District of Columbia. So I'd like to thank our staff that have been very supportive. I'd also like to thank members of the Commission on uh, African Affairs who are our partners and, and advocates. At the DC Commission on the Arts and Humanities, we are the official arts agency of the District of Columbia. Our support and activities allows residents and visitors to experience the rich and diverse culture of our city. Tonight is one such example of that diverse culture as we partner with the Mayor's Office on African Affairs to celebrate our African community. We thank those who have gone before to make this moment possible. We thank those of you here who have given of yourselves, as well as you guys and all the people that we can never name, to do what we do. And we thank those who will come behind us to engage in this most honorable of duties. We are because you are. Thank you. The Mayor's Office on African Affairs, under the Executive Office of Mayor Mayo Bowser, uses the African Community Grant to provide funding to African nonprofit organizations that provide services to the district African community. These services and programs are directly tied to Mayor Bowser's policy priorities to ensuring that every single resident, including the African community, has access to the middle class. The grant over the past year and a half 
the African Community Grant has been a great opportunity for the Mayor's Office and African Affairs to partner with community-based organizations to continue to provide services to the African community. I've been so proud of the work that we accomplished under the African Community Grant and of our grantees. This year alone, the grant that is provided by the Mayor's Office on African Affairs has served 33% more Africans than it has in FY15. And I'm just so excited of the work they're doing, and I cannot wait to see what is yet to come. The uh, Mayor's Office on African Affairs has been supporting our community-based organizations through this capacity building grant, as well as providing technical services, um, providing ways of marketing and creating visibility for our community-based organizations as they do the work that they do to provide services for our um, constituents and our residents, African residents in the district. Well, good evening, everybody. It is wonderful to see so many people and so many smiling faces in celebration of African Heritage Month. And I'm always happy to be able to speak on behalf of the 670,000 Washingtonians and speak on behalf of the best city in the world. I say best city in the world, but I should add, soon to be the 51st state. It brings me great um, pleasure to be here with the Mayor's Office on African Affairs to celebrate 10 wonderful years, a full decade of service to the African community in Washington, D.C. Please join me in congratulating Mamadou and his entire team for putting together not only a wonderful program tonight, but a wonderful program of initiatives and services to the community. So I am also proud that members of the African community continue to choose the district as a top destination to live, to work, to start a business, and to raise a family. We have the only office of its kind established at the local level in the entire nation to serve the African community. So this office literally serves as my eyes and ears to keep me informed of the issues on the ground. We've come a long way in Washington because of bright, energetic, well-meaning people who want to work together to make our city great. Uh, and that's what we celebrate tonight. So thank you for being here and thank you for your support. The first person for Community Advocacy Award is Dr. Manna Damisse. Vice President of Policy Analysis and Research at the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. The Public Service Award, Muiza Muntali. Ms. Kadoni Kamau for Cultural Education Arts Award. The Youth Leadership Award, and it's going to the Young African Professionals. A special Recognition Award, for Henoktasfai. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our 2016 Leadership Community Awardees. Please give them a round. How many immigrants are in the house? Can the immigrants say yay, yay? Yay, yay? yay, yay. Because as an immigrant, I can testify. There were days I was so broke. The car I, only, I drove only, could only make left turns. And that's a true story. When I wanted to make a right turn, I had to make a U-turn. It's always a pleasure seeing Africans come together from all over the world, particularly Africans from Africa. And uh, the mayor was on point with her message. And I would just say to everybody that may have missed this, this was a very, very historical event. And uh, we look forward to some more years of positive energy like this from the Washington office on Africa.
beautiful evening. You got to see the diversity of African communities here in DC. And I think that that reflects the work of the commission and of the mayor's office on African affairs. I think that it just shows exactly like where we've come from, we've celebrated where we are, and I'm really excited to see where we go in the future. It's a great honor to really be here this evening. Uh, we feel so privileged to be awarded and recognized for our work. Uh, the Young African Professionals Network, YAP, has been in the D.C. area since 2002. We've sort of uh, been striving to be a support system for young African professionals and tonight it just shows that we're really being recognized and we're achieving uh, this goal that we've always wanted to do. But you the one for me. See, so when you look at me, those eyes, your breath got me falling for you like an arrow coach. It's really a, a huge honor to uh, be recognized for the work that we do in the community and to be appreciated. Uh, I really appreciate the honor, I appreciate the office, and we'll continue serving the community. Uh, with much uh, appreciation and um, it's, it's just a real honor to be here tonight. This is a place where all of us benefit so much and this event brings all of us together and we thank you for that. Like I said earlier, the next decade will define uh, who we are and what I mean is everything we've done in the past 10 years we have to double and triple and so that will make sure the African community continues to call the city home, we continue to uh, uh, invest in, in, the, in the growth of the city and we continue to be part of the city and because we call this city home, I, uh, I call this city home so uh, most of us have homes or have some sort of investment in the city so we have to continue to make sure that our children, our relatives are comfortable in the city and so we hope to achieve that in the next decade and the decades to come.